morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give me a like for this video and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back to my channel off I'm actually going into town I have a few errands that I need to do before I go to work I work at winners today from 2 30 until 8 30 today so we are going to get a couple errands done now today I started an egg fest my weight has gone up not drastically it's only gone up by one pound like you know one or two pounds depending on where I like to sit I usually like to sit at 133 to 135 I am at just over 136 pounds today and I don't know I feel kind of sluggish as well too and I took my ketone reading and my GKI to figure out if I was in ketosis or not and I'm not in ketosis and I can feel it I can feel it when I'm not in ketosis I just feel tired um, like lethargic feeling and normally I feel like really really good I have endless amount of energy and I just know that I'm not in ketosis right now because I don't feel like that. So we started an egg fast today. Day, today is day one and I'm going to record all three days and I'm going to do my weigh-ins and such. So that is going to be posted up next week. You will see that video when I am, well hopefully I have completed it. I'm pretty sure I will. It's only three days. I always just keep it in my mind that it's three days. You know, if I can lose over 100 pounds, almost 110 pounds, I can do a three-day egg fast, right? Kind of just to get me back into ketosis and feeling like I should. So today you're going to spend the day with me. I have a few errands to do. I have um, a doctor's appointment. They're going to do my blood pressure check just because I have had high blood pressure last year. and. I ended up going keto and got off those high blood pressure pills. However, they do like to check it every once in a while and I need to get a couple refills on my prescriptions so they always just like to test it whenever I come in. So we are doing that today and then next stop that we are doing is we are going to get um, my allergy shot that I get for my eczema as well too. As I have stated before, I was very sick as a child. Um, I had eczema that covered my whole entire body from head to toe. I had severe asthma um, and I had severe allergies. I'm allergic to nuts. I was actually allergic to mostly everything when I was a child. I was put on the chicken and rice diet for a very long time. I think it was almost a year so that they could weed out what I was allergic to. I was allergic to chocolate, milk products, um, like red meats, like everything that you can imagine I was allergic to. So I was very, very sick. I was in the hospital quite a bit as a child. Um, and so now my eczema has kind of been in check. Um, definitely, I think the foods that I've been eating, my, my cleaner foods and going keto has helped me. I don't eat many processed foods or many foods that have dyes in them because that will also flare up my eczema. But I still go to a dermatologist and I do get a shot. I forget what the shot is called. Um, some doctors recommend it, some doctors don't. I know I've been taking it now, I've been getting it for three years now, and it has helped me tremendously. Like, it's even helped with my seasonal allergies, and I think it's just on the severity of your eczema, whether it's going to help or not, but this helps me like 100%. I feel so much better, and I can tell when it's time to get it done. I usually prolong it and wait like the four to five months. Um, but my eczema starts flaring up on my neck, my arms, and uh, behind my legs and stuff like that. So we are doing that today, and then we are going to work. I might fit in a couple more errands in between those two appointments. Um, All right, everyone, I got my meals to go for the day. These are three mini chaffles topped with butter and the Walden syrup. Then I have some pancakes here that are topped with butter and the Walden syrups. And then in here is that... Uh, egg pizza that I made earlier. So I already had um, a chaffle that contained one egg. These will be my meals throughout the day and see how day one goes. 
Okay, so the first egg recipe that we're going to make is some chaffles. I'm just gonna leave out the coconut flour and the baking powder. So I'm just going to whisk up these two eggs and add some cheese. And I'm gonna divide them into two because I'm gonna make one is going to be a savory one and one is going to be a sweet one. So I'm just gonna try to eyeball this and make it half and half. Looks about right. To make it easier, I probably could have done one in each, right? That would have been easier, but that's not the way I roll. Okay, so we are gonna add some cheese. I'm going to measure, uh, see we're only allowed, I cut up three ounces of cheese. You're only allowed this per day. So I'm gonna make it in a couple recipes. So I'm just gonna kind of maybe do a third of it, maybe a little less, third of a cup. Let's see how much that'll give us. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with a fourth of a cup, actually. I think that should be good. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to do a fourth of a cup, a little less than a fourth of a cup. Add that in with our egg. And this one I'm going to make sweet. So I'm going to add just a dash of whipping cream. And I'm going to add some cinnamon to it. And on this egg fast, you can have condiments, but make sure that they are no carbs, okay? Okay, so let's spray our, our um, mini waffle maker. Just gonna put a little bit of cheese because that's what makes it so nice and crispy. Not very much, but just a little bit. These should, these should make two, so we'll see. All right, we'll let that cook for four minutes. Okay, while that is cooking, I'm just gonna start on my egg pizza is what it's called. First of all, you're just going to put a frying pan. I have it on medium right now. I'm gonna spray it with some, some cooking spray. Make sure it's well sprayed for this. And then I'm going to take one of the eggs that I have. Add some parsley and some oregano and some pink salt to that just to kind of make it like a pizza flavoring. I just put in some oregano. We will put in a little bit of basil and some salt. Salt will be important on this because you'll want to make sure that you keep your electrolytes up. All right, I just turned my pan down to low and I'm going to put this in. And we're just gonna let it cook on the low for a little bit till that it's all cooked through. Okay, this is looking pretty done. So what we're going to do is just put some cheese on it. We are gonna turn it to off. We're gonna put some cheese on it. There we go. And we're going to put a lid over top of that and then just let it kind of steam up so that the cheese is melted. Okay, it's been four minutes. Ooh, nice and crispy. It smells really good as well, too. It smells like a waffle. So we're just going to take that one off, put it on a plate for now, and then we're going to cook our other one. Spray, a little bit of cheese. The rest of the chaffle mix. And then we're gonna cook it for four minutes again, okay? Don't forget that cheese on top, make it a little bit crispy. All right, I think this is done. We'll unplug it and put this on a plate. Perfect, so there's gonna be our first meal and some chaffles. Now let's put some butter and syrup on them. The pancake syrup, it has literally zero everything. I would think it would be approved. I've done an egg fast before and I believe I've used this before on the sweet chaffles. 
So I added that, put my melted butter on, and that is going to be our first egg fast meal of the day. That was really, really good. I ate that pretty fast. I'm actually gonna make, cause that was so good. I'm going to make um, a couple more just to have on hand. Cause you're supposed to have six eggs a day. So between those two chaffles and this breakfast egg, egg pizza that I'm taking to work, that's only two eggs. So I need to have four more throughout the day and I'm not going to be home today until 8.30 and you're not supposed to eat before you go to bed. So I'm just gonna make up um, chaffles, this, the sweet chaffles for the rest of the four eggs. batter into pancakes as well too just so I didn't have to wait for all the little mini waffles but these are the pancakes that I made and they're done the same way from the same batter I just threw them on a frying pan our uh, egg pizza it's pretty thin that's the way I like them I'm gonna take this with me to work today because I do work so I'm gonna take this as one of my egg meals all right guys our first stop is going to be getting gas because I am on low my light actually came on when I was on my way to town. So we don't like doing that, do we? I, I, I think because my husband drove my car last, I'm gonna blame him because I don't like doing that whatsoever. I hate it when I'm actually on E and my light comes on. I still have like 80 kilometers to go that I could drive, but it's not good for your car, guys. My dad was a mechanic and I'm telling you, you have a chance of your fuel pump going if you keep it on low and that is a hefty expensive mechanic bill don't do it keep your gas tank full or at least half full all right i am at the doctor's office and i'm about to go in so i just get a couple of refills um since i have asthma i get simbacort um, as a preventative that I take twice a day. And then I also get Constella for my IBS, which has helped tremendously. I started it about two years ago and I suffered for probably close to four years before my doctor actually figured out what was wrong. So those are the only two prescriptions that I get now. And I'm pretty proud of that. I'm almost 44. So to only be on those two, I think is really good. Um, like I said, I got off my high blood pressure pills um, by doing keto and I truly believe that it keep going keto helps so many ailments and i honestly think even if i might go off my ibs and my my simba cord that i might be okay but i'm just so used to those things that i really don't even want to try to get off of them so but let's go to our doctor's appointment i'm going to eat my second meal which is egg pancakes and i just topped them with some butter and some syrup so i'm gonna have that I also wanted to tell you guys what my blood pressure was. So my blood pressure was 120 over 71, which is absolutely perfect. So like I said, keto got me off blood pressure pills. Um, she actually looked up what my blood pressure was when I first went in there, which was last November. And it was 155 over 123, which is extremely high. And the doctor had said that I was going in every other day to get my blood pressure checked and I was on two different medications to actually bring down my blood pressure. And I was um, 204 is when I started again with my weight loss because I had gained some since my wedding last year. And now, like I said, I'm at 135 and off blood pressure pills. So it feels amazing. All right, guys, I am here at work. We um, got our allergy shot done. So that's done. So yeah, I'm just at work. And then the only thing left I have to do is just stop at Superstore and drop off my prescriptions if they're still open at 8.30. And I just need to get a couple things. So we'll see if we get those done, how tired we are. We may just end up going home, but we will see. All right, so I'm going to work. Alright, so in case you guys didn't know, Madison Hat has the largest TV. And there it is. They light it up different colors usually throughout like the month and stuff. I'm not sure exactly why it's hot pink right now, but 
There it is. All right, everyone, I am home from work. It is just after nine o'clock and it was really slow at work, like I said, coming home. So I still had stuff to do, but it just kind of makes it for a long night. But I got everything that I needed to get done except for the grocery store. I never did get there. I thought I was gonna stop after I was done work, but I kind of just wanted to get home, to be honest. So I will probably do that on Friday. Um, tomorrow I work at the Canix, so I'll probably just pick up a couple things that I need from there. And then I work Friday again at uh, Winners. Today is day 14 of working 17 days straight, guys. <laughs> so like, I am trucking through this. And, and it's different because I only used to work um, two days a week. So Tuesdays and Thursdays since our hours got cut because of COVID. And so since February, March, I've been only working two days a week. Normally I work four days a week. And now I'm working every day. So, but it's, it's all right. Like, I feel like it'll kind of slow down. We've hired eight new temporary staff at Winners over the course of the winter time to help out. So I have a feeling that our hours might be cut maybe during that time. And I've also booked off Fridays and Saturdays um, for hunting because um, my husband booked off Fridays as well too from his work. He gets weekends off, but we are going to hunt on Fridays and Saturdays during the month of November. So I have that to look forward to, even though I'm still getting up at, you know, 5 a.m. because we like to um, be out there bright and early for hunting. Okay, so now, do you guys think I made it? Do you guys think I made it through the first day of my egg fast? I did. I did. Well, so far, I'm going to bed right after I close this video out. But I did, I was, I have to admit I was hungry at supper time. My supper was around 5.30 at work, 5, 5.30, somewhere in between there. And I warmed up my pizza, um, my pizza egg, egg pizza, whatever you wanna call it. And I also warmed up those three truffles cause I was really hungry and I ate all of it at one sitting. And then I kind of regretted that because I was done eating for the whole entire day at that time. So, <laughs> But it was so good. Like I would even eat that. I forget. Like I've done an egg fast before uh, when I was still losing. Right now I'm in maintenance, but I've I've just noticed that I've gotten kicked out of ketosis, and I just don't feel like I normally feel. And it could be with working 14 days straight. But uh, no, I checked my ketones this morning, as you see, and I am out of ketosis, and that makes a difference on how I feel on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, when I did the egg fast before, I realized on how good like that egg pizza is and those egg chaffles are, like the savory ones and the sweet ones, they're all just amazing. Even without the coconut flour and the baking powder, they still taste it. They taste amazing, right? So yeah, if you guys are in a stall or if you're not in ketosis, if you've been kicked out by, you know, a cheat meal or something, I do recommend a fast. I've done even alternate day fasting as well too, where I alternate day fasted, and that's when you eat one day, you fast the next day. And I've done that in order to get to my goal weight, and I've never felt better. Like there is so many benefits of fasting. I highly recommend you look into that. Um, it's not for everybody. Obviously, if you have health conditions that you aren't able to fast, then you know don't don't do it. Um, but I've done a wing fast, so you eat chicken wings once a day, and as many as you can eat in that sitting. So for me, it was about like 10 or 12, and you have to make sure that they're naked, they're like there's nothing on them, no breading, no nothing. And I had them with ranch. You can probably have hot sauce, things that are like zero um, carbs, I would recommend that you can use. I don't think it makes a huge of a difference. And I've done an egg fast prior to this one as well too. And I think those are the only fasts that I've done. I've never done a water fast. I honestly, I'm not too sure if I could do a water fast for a long period of time. Um, but also beneficial, highly beneficial. If you look, um, look it up on Google, there is very many benefits to doing fasting. Um, you know, some people just say you're starving yourself. Don't starve yourself. And you're not. You're not starving yourself. You're actually doing your body... Um, you're doing your body good by doing some fast obviously not a regular basis i don't want you to fast 
to hate your goal weight when you have 50 pounds to lose. Don't do that. But, um, but yeah, just look into it. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad day one is over. Day one is always the hardest. I'm just doing this for the three days. That's all I'm doing just to kind of get me back into ketosis. And hopefully this will kind of kickstart me and get me back into ketosis. I'm not really worried about the weight, to be honest. I'm in maintenance. My weight will fluctuate up and down. So I'm not worried about that. It's just kind of getting back into ketosis because that's where I feel my best. Like, from morning to night. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this day with me and I hope you enjoyed day one of the egg fast and keep on watching this little series. We are going to make it to the end. So luckily I'm busy for the next three days and we got day one out of the way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a like for this video. Let me know that you like my videos and make sure you share, please. I just hit 300 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. And my next goal is 400 subscribers. Thanks for watching, everyone.